Kathy Williams de Vries here, uh, welcoming you to the 22nd of 72 Rose Etude Mini Masterclasses. We're looking at the 22nd Etude of the Rose 40 Etudes in the second book. And uh, actually this and the next Etude are very much focused on your staccato. Um, this one's brilliant because you get a lot of repeated notes, so you're not worrying about your fingers flapping around all over the place trying to connect with the staccato. You're on the one note. Um, and that's brilliant. So it rocks along at 112. That's that's a fairly quick tempo for staccato. Um, quite challenging. <laughs> Um, and one, one thing to look for is to really um, emphasize the slurs. So um, now the, the piece goes is um, mainly an E minor, though it goes through some interesting keys. Um, I love in the third line. Um, where it actually modulates um, a little bit, and then you uh, then you're going into um, B major. <laughs> through a series of sequences, um, so it's a really fun etude. It's a fairly short etude, so we won't be spending a huge amount of time on it. But um, I'll just pop the metronome on simply because I am tempted to play it a lot faster than is written because my staccato is a lot faster. One way you could practice it is to actually elongate the four semiquavers into say 12 to 16. So. <laughs> Um, excellent practice. Okay, so well, why don't I just play through it and as we come up to um, the hard bits I'll let you know. Um, the first three lines up to the last bar of the third line you should be able to play in the one breath. <laughs> therefore not um, therefore not breaking up the line. So Sorry about that. So, as I said, really emphasize the slurs. I love the last bar because that's all staccato. You've got you've got no slur at all there. Now, ideally, you should be able to do this in the one breath, although I've never been able to make it. And you could almost do a long A sharp there. Now I find it too hard. Out of interest, let's see if I can do those in just the one breath, two breaths. So I can, there you 
although I'd never be able to make the next three lines, I don't think. <laughs> So that's interesting. We've um, we've got some C major chords there, which is actually the fourth chord of the relative major, because you've got a G7 here. And then you've got an A7, which leads to D minor, and then a B major chord leading to E minor again. So very interesting modulations. And you want that really, really crisp. It's almost machine gun like really. That's a little bit of an interesting one, these um these arpeggios. And I'm probably a little bit too fast again. So I'm a little bit fast again, but and they're about the only dynamics I have in the piece actually is that crescendo decrescendo. back to the piano again and that's honestly the only dynamics I've got in this. advise you to practice this is to take it slow so maybe take it back to 80 uh, depending how fast your staccato is and again practice it as I suggested before taking the four semiquavers and maybe stretching them into 12 so uh, yeah, do it that way. Especially when you come to those repeated B's. And what you do is you gradually move it up, say four beats. So. So that eventually, um, you know, after several practice sessions, you do get it up to 112. Okay, so now I'll play it all the way through for you.
And so there you have it. Uh, that's the 22nd of Forte Rosé Etudes. Thanks for listening and bye for now.